and welcome to the CSP Download. I'm Lydia and I'm the Children and Families Minister at Chalfont St Peter's Parish. Last week we looked at the story of Noah and his ark and God made Noah a special promise called a covenant using a rainbow. I set you the challenge to see if you could make a rainbow out of the things in your house and here's what you have been up to this week. I love a rainbow. Thank you for all your pictures. Though God made Noah a special promise, things still weren't going very well, but God had a big plan that was still unfolding. In today's story, we're going to meet someone who was a very big part of God's big plan. Once upon a time, there lived a man called Abram and he was married to a woman named Sarai. They were both quite old and they didn't have any children. They lived with their friends and family in a place called Haran. Abraham loved God and trusted him. God loved Abraham. In fact, God loved all the people in the world. God had a plan to bless all of the people in the world through Abraham. His plan was that he would use Abraham and his wife Sarai to begin a family that would become so big it would become a nation. This nation would help the world. Everyone in the world would someday be blessed through Abraham's family. So one day God told Abraham to leave his country, his relatives and his friends and go to a new land that he would show him. God did not say where the new land was. He just told Abraham to go and that he would show him later. And because Abraham knew that God is faithful, he and Sarai began packing for their journey. But they didn't know where they were going. So they probably took a lot of stuff. Everyone would have been very busy for many days. They would have packed up all of their things. And then loaded the big heavy objects onto their camels. onto their <clears throat> camels. The servants and helpers would have helped to gather all of Abraham's sheep 
and donkeys and chickens all ready for the trip. Finally, everything would have been ready. Abram and his relatives had to say goodbye to everyone and they left their home country forever. Now they would live in tents and travel around wherever God told them to go. When they reached the land of Canaan, God told Abram to have a good look around. Other people lived there, but someday Abram's children and grandchildren would own this land. And remember how Abram and Sarai had no children. Well, God promised that someday that would change. God wanted Abram to have a family that would bring blessing to everyone. God would start a great nation from Abram. And God kept his promise to Abram. He protected him and he blessed him and he worked out his special plan. He gave Abram children. Lots of children. And grandchildren. And great grandchildren. And a family that was so big, it soon became a nation. And centuries later, Jesus was born into this big, special family. Abraham was a very important part of God's big plan. And at the end of the story, we were also introduced to someone who was a very important part of God's big plan. And we'll be learning more about him in a few weeks time. Abraham was a really important part of God's plan. And that meant he had to be brave and follow God's instructions, even when he didn't know where God would lead him or what was going to happen next. Abraham had to trust in God. We're gonna to pray together now and ask that we can grow in our trust of God as well. We're gonna pray and ask God to help us to trust him. We're gonna say a phrase together and you can join in with the actions at home. God, help me to trust in you. Should we do that again? God, help me to trust in you. Let's pray together. When I feel anxious or worried, God, help me to trust in you. When I'm doubting your promises, God, help me to trust in you. When I'm not sure what to do, God, help me to trust in you. When I'm feeling unsure about what the future holds, God, help me to trust in you. Amen. Well, that's all for this week. Join us again next time or at one of our in-person services. We'd love to see you there. Check out our website for more information about what's on and when. Take care. Bye.